to work with R, we have another option called R Studio Server. The difference between R Studio and R Studio Server is R Studio is a desktop application. Whereas R Studio Server is a web-based application. R Studio Server, as it is a web-based application, anyone from any corner of the internet can access that R Studio Server web-based application. The only condition is network admin must need to provide an access to that R Studio Server application. Now to use this R Studio Server on your operating system on your machine, go to this R Studio download page and click on this R Studio Server download this button. Once you click on this button, you will get the page like this. One of the disadvantage of R Studio Server is it is only available for Linux based platforms only. Now, if you are using Linux based distros, then go ahead and select the Linux platform that is applicable to your operating system. As I am using this Ubuntu, so I will click on this particular portion and it will open this tab where uh, based on the version of Ubuntu, I will copy the command and execute it on my Ubuntu terminal. So I'm using Ubuntu 22. So I will execute this command on my terminal. I will execute the command over here. Once the required package has been installed, we will go to the next step. Next step is to download R Studio Server. So this wget will download R Studio Server .db extension file on my local system. Okay, and then the next thing is uh, to install that APN package. We'll execute the command. We want to install the software package. Yes, and we will wait. The installation has been completed by the system. And as you can see on the screen, that R Studio Server has been started as a service as well. So you can see over here it is active and running as a R Studio Server dot service. As R Studio Server is being run as a service as well, it means that if you want to stop, restart, start, whatever you want to do with this R Studio Server service, you can do that as well. So first, how to access this? So for that purpose, you can uh, have a look at this URL as well. What I need to do is I need to Go to this uh, server IP address colon 8787 port number as it has been installed on my local system. So for that purpose, either I need to use this IP address 00008787 enter and you can see I am able to access our studio login page. Now, what will be the username and password? So for this purpose, you can use any username and password that you have created on your local system. You can even use your own login id and password as well that you are using to login into your operating system so over here my username i will use nayan and the password accordingly and then sign in okay and you can see that r studio will allow me to sign in and over here we will have entire r studio session which will be similar or it will be same to same r studio desktop version over here you can create a new R script like this. And uh, if you want to access any R script which is available on your local system, that also visible. So over here, unlike Docker, you don't need to take the backup because it is available on your local system. So in that case, all the changes will be available on your local system itself. Okay, uh, so in case if you want to create number of users and their password to have different logins of R Studio server that is also feasible for that you just need to go to three you just need to go through this link over here you can see that this uh, you can manage users with standard linux user administration tools like user ad user deal etc over here uh, they have mentioned that if you want to stop R Studio server you can use this different commands to stop restart start R Studio server session that's it for the day thank you everyone for watching this video.